Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new diamond flash glitch Clay Thompson gameplay. All right, Rocco, it's a beautiful day out, and today's the day we find the perfect dog park. Now, before we dive into him and his stats, badges, animations, Shout out to my guy Blazion for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we're on the road to 80,000 subscribers. Clay Thompson, 6'6", at the 2, 96 3 ball, 75 driving deck is good enough. 95 ball handle, 80 block, 92 steel, 95 perimeter defense with the 69 interior, 90 speed, 2 ball acceleration, and a 95 lateral quickness tendency wise for Clay, 80 driving dunk tendency. Defensive tendencies are pretty solid all the way around. Four of favors, catch and shoot, dimer, clamps, and quick first step. 45 on gold, quarter specialist, difficulty shots, ankle breaker, hyper drive, glue hands, pickpocket, pick dodger, quick chain, interceptor, intimidator. Does have off ball pest, pogo stick ties, fender, blinders, circus threes, limitless spot up, pro touch, rhythm shooter, slithery finisher, bailout handles for days, zero throw space creator, stop go tight handles, applicable dead eye sniper. Basically, playmaking defensively and shooting wise, he's gonna have all the badges you could possibly want. Now, badges I would give to Clay. If you are wondering, I definitely give him chef, I definitely give him limitless takeoff, and then outside of that, you're looking at mismatch expert post lockdown, and then maybe rebound chaser, maybe uh, uh, rim protector, those types of badges. But Clay Thompson is an all around shooting guard and might be the best all around shooting guard we have in the game. Look at it, Clay, in shoot around here. Just movement wise, we're just gonna see. Obviously, we know he has shifty moving behind the back's not great, but his tween is fantastic. Like, my thing is this. Clay should not be able to move like this. That's my whole thing. Like, I get he's a good dribbler in general, and that's the glitch part about this card. But the fact that he can move this crazy with this good of a release is just a scary sight. Now, I will say his release is good. It is smooth, but it's not necessarily the cheesiest release in the game. That's what I would say. Like, it is a good release. I'm not trying to sit here and say it's not a good release because it absolutely is. What I'm trying to say is it's not base 98. What I'm trying to say is it's not necessarily the best release in the game. Is it smooth? Yes. Is it easy to green? Absolutely. You shouldn't. You should literally never miss with Clay Thompson. And if you do miss on either gen, in which I think is release is better on current gen, but if you re if you miss time or release, it's not Clay's fault. It is your fault. And so that's the thing you got to know going into it, right? Is if you do miss a shot, don't don't blame Clay Thompson because trust me. It's not Clay's fault he's missing a shot. And even with all the hot spots with everything he has, if you do white shots, it's going to go in and unlimited. It's just the way it is. You're not going to miss a shot with Clay Thompson with his ratings. It's just not going to happen. The dude's ratings are absolutely incredible. See kind of what the dribble sigs are like for Mr. Clay Thompson. I mean, they're okay, right? Clay's going to be able to move pretty well for him being a 6'6 shooting guard. The one thing we haven't really talked about in shoot around yet, because I can't really show it, is his 95 lateral quickness in the defense that he is going to play. I'm excited to use Klay Thompson, man, and I'm excited to see him back on the court this season. My opponent here running DeJounte Murray. He's got Klay himself, Kawhi, AK, and Alonzo. It's going to be the battle of Klay's. Now, I'm just going to see. Not going to touch anything if Klay guards the center. I know in past 2Ks, one of the biggest problems with Klay is the fact that if you don't touch anything, he's going to guard the center. And it's kind of a tough thing to obviously figure out. So I'm just gonna be in 21 delay for a little bit here to start the game. Just I mean, because I don't wanna I don't wanna touch anything and mess anything up. Uh no way. No way my Trey Young just got ripped. That's crazy. Dang, chill. Stop giving all the attention to Clay on the first possession. Like he's got dimer. He's got those badges. Look at Clay guarding his the the, the right guy, right? what you want to see out of Clay Thompson. I, I didn't touch anything and he's guarding the shooting guard. Wrong Clay. Nah, Clay. That, I didn't green it, but that was a really tough move. I gotta green it because that was tough. Movement is not gonna be an issue for Clay at all, I don't think. Like, just watching him move here, that's not going to be the issue. 
I don't know if there is going to be an issue with Clay. Let's get some two-man action going. See, I just am early with everything. Because I just feel like his release should be quicker than it is right now. And is that my fault? Yes, it is. Absolutely. I 100% know that. But it just for me, I just feel like his release should be quicker. And I, I'm struggling with it right now. Oh, my goodness. It's not that deep. Come here. You're not winning the game. Like, stop leaving. I don't understand what your defense is. Like, you're letting Clay just shred you passing the ball, and that's not even what I'm trying to do. Heck no. Forward run. Find just Clay in the catch and shoot somehow. Somehow somebody leave him. Thank you. Okay. I mean, it is release again. It might not be as quick as you want, but it's easy to green. Run. That's tough. That's a tough move. Like, those are just ones I got to green. Perfect. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Got to load up, but I still knocked down a 19%. That was fine. Give me a stop. All right, that's fine. I wanted another possession anyways. Yes, sir. Ho him. Run. Clay got to get open for me. Plenty of time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 10% is not enough. Clay knocks down another one. Getting closer to takeover. That's good, D-board. Thank you, run. Clay, you got to run, baby. Right to him. Oh, yeah. Got him. Got him. Got him. Not a pretty possession at all. I definitely should have not ever thrown that pass. But it worked out for me. He's up to four assists in the game. Good. Just don't let Clay fry us. That's good, D. Board. Or thank you. Run. 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 Come here. Send me one. Thank you. Ah, late with it, Clay. Late with it, Clay. I got to be better. That's on me, baby. We saw Clay in my team unlimited play pretty well. We're going to hop right into Triple Threat Online just to get a better feel. My opponent might struggle just a little bit with this lineup. And just right there shows you what Clay is about. He's not just a 3 indie guy. He can make plays, right? He's got shifty dribble style, which is incredible. I mean, he's going to be able to defend at a very high level. He's in, yeah, I just, I don't know about the release. That's, that's the only thing. And I'm not saying I hate the release. Just don't know if it's my favorite in the game. Right? I don't know if it's Vince Carter level. I don't know if it's, you know, quite to that next level of, of, of you know, incredible. But it, Clay is incredible. I'm not doubting that. Oh, yeah, Clay. Oh, yeah, Clay. Oh, yeah, Clay. And even if you don't green, just like that. Shot a slightly late. The catch and shoot situation. Hall of Fame catch and shoot a 99 three ball, basically. That dude's just not going to miss. Oh, yeah, Clay. Oh, yeah. oh, my goodness. I just got killed by him. My goodness. Uh-oh. Clay time. It's a dot too. It's a dot to Glenn. I like I like Glenn's release too when you got the gold bullet. Playmaker wise, absolutely. It's just crazy to me, right? How is he with Hall of Fame Dimer? All the Hall of Fame quick first step that we really haven't even utilized that much. Defensively, 6'6", six, six, gonna be in lanes. How are we how are we not? I feel like the, the community's a lot talking about D-Rob. Why is Clay not, you know, as hyped up as D-Rob? This dude, he can do it all, man. What can Clay not do? Can y'all tell me? What can this card not do? Please, somebody tell me. Somebody enlighten me. Because right now, it's looking like he can do it all on any type of level. Especially on current gen. Next gen, he's gonna be glitchy too. I have no doubt in my mind. My opponent then wanted nothing to do with the Clay show. We got another win. Compare Clay to some of my favorite shooting guards in the game. Let's just let's just do it, right? Let's let's just do it because you know a lot of people are like, well, Ty, is Clay better than Kobe? Well, let's just take a trip, okay? 6'6 six, six to 6'6. Six, six. Clay's a lot better shooter, can handle the ball better, a better defensive player, better badge wise. Not really comparable. Okay, let's compare him to my second favorite shooting guard in the game and Vince Carter. And this one's a little tougher for me because I just I, I love Vince Carter in general. His release, I, I I just love Vince Carter. But if you compare it, Clay's better again in every aspect of, of of outside of finishing. Clay Thompson is going to be the best shooting guard in the game. 
And honestly, he is probably going to be underpriced for what he should go for. Clay is going to be the steal of this year as far as MT. If you can get him for anything under 200k, it's it's a steal. I'm telling you guys, Kobe, Vince, they went for upwards of 200k for the longest time. It's a lot of clays up, so don't overpay. But he is going to be the steal of today. But that is going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Clay Thompson, the best shooting guard in NBA 2K22. My team. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.